Guan cities, while other big names were simply trying to avoid the cut. Tommy Cool? Yep, correct. I hope you're wildly successful, man. Oh, that that man. name will take you long ways. That's awesome. We've got a cool story about a kid from Morton, and we'd like to think our show is wildly successful as well. It's the 19th hole, and it starts right now. Now, from your official station for the John Deere Classic, welcome to the 19th hole on WQAD News 8. The 19th hole set is provided by Uncommon Ground. Welcome to the 19th hole Friday here at the John Deere Classic. Always busy, always eventful. This year, no different. So many good storylines for day two of the JDC. Friday is cut day here at TPC Deer Run. Now half the names will stick around for the weekend, the other half heading home and several big names flirting with the cut line this afternoon. Yeah, the leaderboard is always crowded out here at Deer Run. Last year, JT Poston led wire to wire, but this year there will not be a wire to wire winner. There's a brand new leader of the John Deere Classic. The highest ranked golfer in this year's field sits atop the leaderboard right now, and that person's name is Cam Young, what a day for him. He started on the back here on 17. It's the 26 year old from the fairway bunker, 66 yards out to within seven feet of the cup. Young would finish things off with a birdie on 17. That got him to 11 under. Gave him a two shot lead at that point. Young would stay red hot on his second nine with three more birdies. It's a round two 64 for Cam Young. He's your leader halfway through the JDC at 13 under par. It's a golf course that is, is very scorable when you're in control, but if you if you play it kind of loosely, it's, it's not that easy either. So um, I think it's just remaining really committed to, to what we've planned on for how to play the golf course and just keep myself in each shot as much as I can. After an opening round six under, Garrick Higo will continue his great golf in the second round. Higo carding an eagle on 10 and a couple more birdies on the back nine. He would then add a couple more on the front side to go with two bogeys on his scorecard. He fires a five under 66. He's two shots back of the leader, Cam Young, heading into the weekend. I think there's still a low one in there. Um, I kind of didn't take it too deep, um, but... It's been really solid. Hopefully I can make a few more putts tomorrow and take it even deeper. Some other golfers moving up the leaderboard in round two were Adam Shank and Brendan Todd. Shank would have a clean scorecard, carding five birdies and no bogeys on his way to a five under 66. He is also in a tie for second at 11, two shots back. Brendan Todd, also part of that group tied for second. His second round 65 consisted of seven birdies and just one bogey. The crowned leaderboard setting up an exciting moving day on Saturday. There were plenty of buzz surrounding Ludwig Aberg heading into the John Deere Classic. And this afternoon, the 23-year-old showed us why. On one, it's Aberg bearing the eight-foot birdie. The Swedish sensation gets to six under par. But he was far from done on this day. On four, it's Aberg with his second shot. From 99 yards out, sticking it within four feet of the cup. The easy birdie punt gets him to eight under par, eight birdies, only one bogey. It all is up to around 264. Aberg just three shots back going into the weekend at 10 under par. When you see putts going in from, from all over the place, it's, it's a lot of fun and you get excited. And uh, I was able to make a few myself, so it made it a little bit easier. Um, but uh, you know, all I can do is try to play as well as I can and see where that takes me. Joining Aberg at 10 under par is another young gun. Sponsor exemption William Mao continues to impress at Deer Run. The 22-year-old fires his second straight bogey-free 66. Mao sits at 10 under heading into the weekend as he looks for his first ever win on tour as well. Uh, I feel good. I, 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 I played now four events on the Corn Ferry and it's it's prepared me for this you know I um, I have a good game plan I, I feel good about my game I like like the way I'm hitting it uh, I prepared really hard for this this uh, Monday Tuesday Wednesday felt really good about my game and you just gotta go play some golf then 
Let's check out your Blackhawk Bank and Trust leaderboard for round two of the John Deere Classic. And there's Cam Young sitting atop the leaderboard at 13 under. Garrett Higo is at 11 under. We'll also update that for you a little bit. William Mao is at 10 under. Adam Shank is at 11 under as well. Brendan Todd at 11 under. So three golfers at 11 under par. And then William Mao also on there as well. So a busy, busy day, round two here at the John Deere Classic. Well, just two shots behind, Aberg at eight under is a great story. On 17, here's 25-year-old Peter Quest, his second shot on the par five from 276 yards out. He puts it 15 feet from the cup. He would go home, go on to make the eagle putt to get to eight under overall. Here's the story though. The 25 year old Monday qualified at the Rocket Mortgage Classic last week. Then he finished top four. That finish got him to the John Deere Classic. And now by making the cut here, the BYU product earns a special temporary membership. His round two 67 doing just that. He sits inside the top 10 after moving day and another chance to win on the PGA Tour. Yeah, I just got a good family, you know, and a lot of good friends. And uh, there's a lot of people supporting me. Um, so it's nice to have that, you know, when I go home and um, just have a really good team behind me. I try not to think about it too much. I've put a lot of work in my game. Um, so it's nice to see the work pay off. It was quite the morning for a pair of former JDC champs. On 17, defending champ JT Poston in the swale. But not too much green to work with, or would you think? Poston flies it well past the hole and then watch it come right back. It's going to end up three feet from the cup. He would make birdie from there. He's six back at seven under par. 2021 JDC champ Lucas Glover would be playing alongside Poston and playing just as good. On one, it's Glover from 144 out, sticking it just four feet from the cup. The easy birdie gets Glover to eight under par, around 265. Glover in the mix, just five shots off the pace. Yeah, it was. Yesterday was a hard two under. Today was a um, one of those, I'll, when I get back and reflect on it, it'll be about as high as I could have shot. Um, I misread a short one on 17, and... Uh, um, for birdie and, and that one, and then a pretty silly bogey on seven. And um, as, as difficult as 69 yesterday, it was equally as easy as 65 today. For the first time in a long, long time, Zach Johnson entered round two in danger of making the cut after round 172. The Cedar Rapids native getting back on track though this afternoon. Zach with a quartet of birdies in the front nine to get back in red numbers. He needed to par 18 to make the cut and he did just that behind us. Zach finishes round two, 66. He's at four under, just making the cut as we head into the weekend. I just I felt more confident on the greens. I made some. I mean, shoot, man, I could have shot a really low today. I missed so many putts and burnt so many edges. Lipped out three or four times as well. So, hit one errant shot that cost me on three. But other than that, it was it was a very solid day and indicative of how I've been playing. Zach Johnson brings out a lot of Iowa fans to Deer Run today. He drew the head hawk himself. Kirk Ferentz making the trip from Iowa City to watch the Cedar Rapids native up close and personal this afternoon. Last time Ferentz watched Zach in person at Deer Run way back in 2012, the same year he won the John Deere Classic. It's not likely that he'll win in 2023, but Ferentz still a huge fan of what Zach Johnson represents. He's done such a great job in his career as a player, but uh, what he represents, what he stands for, and how he does things, you know, it's just so impressive. He's a tremendous human being, and certainly uh, has never forgotten where home is, that's for sure. Are you a golfer? Uh, I quit probably about 30 years ago and did a lot of people a favor. I was so bad. 